Hi, I'm John, and uh, dancing keeps me away from drugs and alcohol. I'm a hip hop choreography dancer, but I'm also a freestyle wise, I'm a popper. Um, there's a lot of different variations of popping. Um, yeah. Um, I also do house. A little bit of that, I'm training in uh, locking and whacking. So, a bunch of new styles are coming up, and I'm training in those. Uh, popping is pretty much a funk style developed from locking from the west coast you know uh, it's really smooth a lot of you know a lot of waves or a lot of hits you know a lot of blow ups all that whatnot uh, housing is like it's really con it's a really complicated style to explain it's kind of like you're dancing on air pretty much you know, it's, like, it's really fun it's a lot of energy high energy and, you know when you dance it's just like that same feeling you're, you feel like you're amazing you're like on top of the world and when you're really into that zone it's better than any drug out there. It's better than any drink out there, you know. It's like, it incites all of your senses at once and you feel different, you feel at a different place. So when you really dance and you really dance from your heart, it's like, you know, nothing, anything, any drug, anything man can make, anything can give you. It's just a completely euphoric feeling. Um, performance, like on stage, you need to be 100% mental and physical game, like up to 100%. And so, taking drugs or alcohol would like ruin it. your stamina, you, your focus would be off, you know, and all that you know, stuff that you really need when you're performing. But like everyday performance, when you're just training or when you're practicing with your groups, you need to act like you're performing all the time. So, drugs and alcohol would really inhibit me from like, you know, doing the best I can. Being a leader, since I'm in three different groups, being a leader is really important, and being a leader, you need to be a really good role model. And uh, drinking and doing drugs would be, you know, a bad example for a role model. Um, one advice I have to all new dancers coming out is to stay focused, practice, and take as many classes as you can. You know, whether from ballet to contemporary to hip hop, whatever, just take it, no matter what it is, because, you know, knowledge is power. Drugs and alcohol really ruin everything. You know, everything goes down the drain when you take that stuff. Um, you know, it ruins your stamina. It takes up a lot of your time. It takes a lot of your money. And you could be using all that time, all that money, and all that effort to look for drugs and alcohol to, you know, to dancing towards something more positive.